Welcome back. Today we're reviewing man's other, other best friend, the goat. A truly bizarre species. In many ways, no different to us humans. The goat is an oft misunderstood creature. Graceful, dependable, and with the gilded voice of an angel. <laughs> Here's an influencer doing influency things. I assume she's using the goat to help push her brand of goat soap or goat milk or get people interested in goat yoga. But the goat says, yeah, no, nah, fuck off. This is one goat who will not sell out. Seriously, though, speaking of goat yoga, it's a thing. It's become one of the more popular yoga subsets. Maybe it does help with your flexibility and breathing, or maybe it's just like regular yoga with a greater likelihood of catching ringworm. Either way, this goat has some notes on your technique. All oh, right, really? So I'm not focusing on my breathing enough. Okay. I, okay, fine. Fair enough. You are the goat, after all. You wouldn't know it, but goats are good listeners. They're good listeners. I said they're good at listening. Goats are really good at listening. Can I? I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to open up. Stop talking about yourself. Goats are really good at fuck's sake. This bloke gives the goat a cheeky tickle. The goat turns to the kitten and says, Never without my consent! I do love the kitty's face. It is shocked. It's like, why'd you set me up, bro? I thought we were all friends. Here's another goat. It's telling a bull to be more polite to his Sheila cow friend. We may be a different species, sir, but we can both be gentlemen, quips the goat. Oi, no, 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 no. Thank you, Deirdre, but I got this. This quarrel is mine to have and mine alone. The bull is getting thrown by the goat's bravado. Meanwhile, Deirdre is looking around to see if her friends are seeing this shit. The bull is getting nervous. The goat isn't backing down. It looks to see if it's got a bull squad, but remembers it doesn't have a bull squad due to its propensity to always start fights. Fuck this, he says, and buggers off. Oi, can I have some of your baby carrots? No. No, oh, why not? Come on, man. Just give me some baby Plan carrots. We're well, debatable. Plan to get off the car. No, I don't know about off that. Off the car now. No. Off, off the car. Don't close your window. I only want a nibble. Off, off, on a day. Carrots. Really? Give me a baby carrot. Oh, oh. Carrots. I don't go on day. Timbo, can you see the baby carrots? Oh, yeah, mate. They're right there in the centre console. Look, Roy, just give us the carrots you. and we'll be out of Roy, your hair. Oi, maybe try the back window, Timbo. On it. Fuck, she's rolling it up. They definitely have the baby carrots in there, though. Oh, bugger me. Look at these goats casually engaging in some Mission Impossible 2 rock climbing. These are those Ibex motherfuckers just scaling sheer cliff faces with not an ounce of fear or goat vertigo. Goatigo, if you will. Bloody fearless. Unless you throw a small red ball at a goat. Then, then they freeze and play dead. The red rubber ball. Kryptonite of the goat universe. Goatonite, if you will. Yeah, no, yeah, goats. Goats are bloody weird, but... They truly fair dinkum are great listeners. Uh.